And I realize for a channel that's called Garsha's Arch, there's been a really limited amount of Arch distros. But hey, as we know in the computer Linux world, Arch isn't the be end and be all. Well, maybe don't tell Arch users that. But uh, jokes aside, though, uh, came across a new wait for an Arch based distro called Leo. I guess that's how you pronounce it, Leo or Lia Linux. And on their website, as you can see, they say it's a simple yet powerful operating system, coupled with performance, security, and an uninterrupted workflow and ease of use. Okay, quite quite a lot. And uh, looking at their website. Uh, it's got the usual stuff talking about it's intuitive, it's open source, it gets updates uh, monthly. You know, obviously, it's going to be rolling release because it's Arch. Uh, some photos of the gallery and options to download. But what struck me is weird, really, really weird. And we'll see once we install it if that's true, is some of the default choices of software. Like I see the default term, terminal emulators Kitty, and the default browser is Brave. So interesting uh, choices there. So let's uh, spin it up and uh, see if it works. So uh, let's get the ISO, refresh it, Lily OS. Uh, what OS is it? Gonna select its arch. Uh, forward it on. Let's give this thing at least four gigs of memory. Four CPUs and 50 gig hard drive. And we will we'll actually just call it Leah. Finish that up. And okay. Uh, Sys Linux, boot with Intel AMD or integrated GPU drivers, boot with Nouveau driver. So, of course, if you've got. In oh, interesting. If you have uh, uh, NVIDIA, you can choose a Nouveau driver. That would be the open source one. Uh, and of course, you would have to install the uh, proprietary drivers if you wanted better performance. But here, we'll just use the normal integrated option and see how that goes. Uh, I would kind of think for a distro that's saying it's so simple that would include at least a proprietary and video drivers instead of Nouveau. Very interesting choice, but okay, I'm sure they have their reasons. And here we have Cinnamon. Yeah, this is Cinnamon Desktop. This is definitely Cinnamon. Well, let's uh, install it. And click on the install system. That's simple enough. And Kilimari's installer, like 99% of Linux distros, erase the disk. Uh, we need no swap. BTRFS, ext4, JFS, XFS options. I'm going to just change mine to ext4. What's my name? Gosh, strong password. And next. Install, install. Not oh, many options on the installation, which I guess is is great. Um, I see here it says thank you for installing. The rest of the installation is automated. Sit back and get any work done. What? Sit back and get any work done. Hopefully you're not going to be doing that while you're installing. Um, the installation can take anywhere from 15 minutes to one hour. Whoa, that's uh, quite a time frame there. And it is just busy in the background. Cool, well, while that's doing that, uh, let's look at the forum so long. No, I don't want to choose password for the keyring, keep it un unencrypted. And yeah, we can see just definitely Brave is a default, but we'll talk about the default app soon enough. I see here there's an announcement about silicon. Uh, can we, oh, ha ha ha. I thought something there with the word silicon that I thought it would, you know, be ARM64. 
but it's obviously the the fifth release's name. Okay, they got me. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, that's nice. Ah, oh, in version six, his code name is Chlorine. Wow, that's a nice name. Uh, they distributed a, a couple of changes they've made. Oh, uh, look, merch NVIDIA and open source drivers with another option to choose. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad they've done that. It's obviously not in the version we've got. Um, I, which is weird because I couldn't. F that is the latest ISO I downloaded. Uh, our installs at 71%. I think generally. Oh, and, oh, this. And version 7. Wow, they've been doing releases quickly. Argon. Someone likes the periodic table of elements uh, to choose names from. As you may have observed, we've added ChatGPT in the desktop for helping users. Oh, oh. that's uh, interesting to add it into the desktop. I really hope it's in the ISO I've, we've downloaded. It'll be great fun to play with that. Uh, ah, all done. It's we can restart now. So let's just say done, and make the screen smaller and shut it down in the meantime. And then we can move the disk and start up from the installation and see what we are playing with. Cool, it looks like it actually did that already. And overview back and start it up. Okay. I'm using Grub. Hey, I got, got to say one thing about it, it's freaking quick. Wow. Okay, so what do we know so far? We know it's Arch based. We know it's using Cinnamon Desktop, and we... Okay, now we're on the screen here, so let's check the terminal out. And it really is using Kitty. Now, there's nothing wrong with using Kitty, but uh, it, for a terminal emulator, it can be a bit slow. And I also see they are using ZSH instead of Bash interesting choice to do that um, I wonder why they opted to do that uh, I wonder what kernel is this thing's running uh, small r uh, 6.3.5 so that's obviously the latest and storage available quite a lot so it's hardly it's only used about 8.8 gigs okay fine web browser of course default is brave Really interesting choice. Most brow well, you should come with uh, Firefox, but okay, this is they just show they entitled to add what they want to it. Uh, office only Office instead of LibreOffice out the box. That's also an interesting choice. Uh, although I can kind of guess if you're trying to aim this for first time user, let's be honest, only Office does look closer to Microsoft Office than LibreOffice does. Uh, okay, that's home. And what else is in here? Uh, as a default. Okay. Media player Excel. What? I didn't even know Excel still was. I haven't used Excel in years. I didn't even know it was still around. Ah, oh, interesting choice instead of using something like Rhythmbox. Um, okay, the Proton VPN pre installed. They have UGET as a download manager. They've got Earth Deluge instead of something like Transmission for uh, torrent files. Ah, we've got ChatGPT here. There are new available scripts. Please go to. Okay, yes. Okay, here's a control center. What am I supposed to do here? Chat GPT spy. Is this an app? Am I being stupid? I don't know. Okay. Qu 
crit. Oh, well that didn't help much. Let me open that again. Oh, okay, so you would log into normal chat GPT. So this is basically like a web wrapper. A really nice web wrapper. Oh, and then Dolly 2 for images. Okay, so this is really just a, a more of a wrapper around it than anything else. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, smart control, hardware and sound. They have HTOP installed. So if you want to check performance instead of just using top and graphics, they've got my paint and pics for photo management. What else? So, okay, so it's all very nice. So what software manager do they have to add software? Uh, software token, Warpinator, Redshift. Okay, I get their choice of software a bit different than every other's, but hey, that's what happens in the Linux world. And I get they're trying to say this is much easier than anything else. I don't really... Ah, add and remove software, and of course we got Mac. And how's it reconfigured? Uh, let's check if it automatically gets from the AUR. Advanced third party, yeah, it's already got AUR support enabled and flat pack disabled. Wow, it would be nice if there was a warning some way to tell people about the dangers if you done it from AUR. Because let's be honest, software from AUR can break, uh, or if you make changes on your system. I don't see any pre update manager here apart from using this so I kind of get what the designers are going for and we've got to give them the dues here but something where zero Linux and Garuda and all the others there they take arch and they add additional stuff to it to really make it more manageable and easier to do and you can really see the value this really seems like just another Arch distro that's got some interesting choices of software that falls flat and making it an easier way to manage. Which is weird considering it's supposed to be easy to manage. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this here. There isn't really much else to talk about uh, or show, but uh, if you have comments or anything, please uh, leave it uh, down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.